Welcome to part two, where we show you how to adjust your disc brakes. Now, there are a few videos out there that explain well enough how to do that, but what I'm about to show you is something that most mechanics don't do at all. So let's keep that a secret. Now, what secret is that? Here's a hint. <laughs> There's some powerful information coming your way, so stay tuned. Before we begin adjusting the brakes, make sure that the wheel is aligned properly. Let's start off with the mechanical brakes. As you see here, one brake pad is stationary and the other brake pad moves. And it uses a brake cable to do it. So where do you put the disc? Dead center? No. When adjusting the caliper, you want the disc as close as possible towards the stationary brake pad without it touching. So when the other brake pad moves towards the disc, there is less travel to the stationary side. Now for the hydraulic brakes. On the hydraulics, both pistons move towards the disc. So, do you put the disc in the center now? Yeah, both pistons should be moving the same distance towards the disc, so there's equal amount of pressure. Here we have a mechanical brake, which uses a cable. As you can hear, there's rubbing. So the way to get rid of that is grab your five millimeter Allen key, loosen off the top bolt and the bottom, so it's loose, so it moves around. Next is what you do is you hold on to the brake lever so the cable is engaged and that will help strain out the brake pad. Then what you do is you tighten the top ever so slightly and then the bottom. And then give it a test. All right. Here you hear a little bit left. So we know that the brake pad is pretty much straight. So in this case, I'm actually gonna loosen off the top just a little bit and just push it away from the disc ever so slightly and then tighten it up, give it another test. You're good to go. So basically what you could do from there is just tighten off the top as much, well, not as much as you can, but enough. All right, press it again. You're good to go. So what if you don't have a five millimeter Allen key and the disc still rubs? Well, in this particular case, the disc is just rubbing just very little. So what you do is you find the, the area with the most pressure. Once it's found, grab your next handy tool, which everybody has, and that is the hammer. Go between the spokes, and just give it a love tap. Hold it down, give it a test. A lot better than before. So find that other area. Once it's found, point it out. Test it out. And you're good to go. Not everybody has these tools. So essentially all you'll need is a hammer and an Allen key. With hydraulic brakes, it moves both brake pads towards the disc. So in this case, again, we have the rubbing. So what you do is grab your five millimeter Allen key and just like we did with the mechanical, loosen off the top and bottom bolt ever so slightly until it's loose. So you can move around the caliper. Once that's loose, hold on to your brake lever so everything's nice and centered. And then you tighten a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom. Not too much, just a little bit, and give it a test. We're good to go. So again, just hold on still to your brake lever and just tighten up the top and bottom bolt. Once that's nice and tight, give it a nice test and you're good to go. Sometimes with hydraulic brakes, even though you did all the adjustments and you still get a little bit of rubbing, the best thing to do is to reset your brake pads. To reset your brake pads, you'll need a wedge. All you do is just put it between the two pads and just play with it a little bit and spread it open. Once you put the wheel back on, redo the process. Strong, all right. Well, there you have it. If you have any problems with your bike, please bring it into your local bike shop and have them take a look at it. It could cost you anywhere from say 15 to $35, give or take, to fix your brakes. So, thank you for watching this video and I'll talk to you later. Yeah,